You noticed how at this time of year everything's really Christmassy. The shops, the decorations, presents. But have you ever wondered, what is it that actually makes things look Christmassy? Is it snow? Is it sleigh bells? Or could it be this stuff? Holly. You know, it's amazing. You can draw holly onto nearly anything at all and make it look Christmassy. Now, watch this. I've got an ordinary cheap envelope and I'm going to turn it into a Christmassy envelope just by drawing on some holly. Now, if you've ever taken a close look at holly, or indeed, if you've ever held holly in your hand, you'll know that it's got spiky leaves. Now, they're really deep green leaves, but they've got spikes on them. So when you're drawing your holly leaf, it's just a case of drawing a load of spikes along the edge. And it's a bit like drawing ocean waves, like that. Look at that. Ocean wave there, and one upside down, and there you have your holly shape. And again, cut it in this really deep green. You know, it's amazing how many things to do with Christmas are green and red. Well, maybe that's got something to do with holly. Because again, if you take a close look at the holly, you'll notice, as well as those spiky leaves, it's got those really deep red berries. So I'll just put those on to my picture there. And then I'm just going to outline the whole thing. You don't have to do this, but if I outline it in a very thin black line, then it makes it look even spikier. I don't know whether you've ever held holly, but it can be quite unpleasant. So when you do see it at Christmas, steer clear of it. But it it's half sharp. I'm just going to go around those berries, black outline, and put a line down the middle of the leaves, and there it is. And if I do the same in the opposite diagonal corner, two corners, and there I've transformed an ordinary cheap envelope into a really expensive looking Christmassy envelope. And you could try this. Take an ordinary piece of white card or thick paper, cut a rectangle, fold it in half and make some place cards for your Christmas dinner table by writing your guests' names on the front and just creating a border of holly around the outside. And look at that. I forgot to colour that one in there, so I'll just finish that off. And again, I did the holly in exactly the same way. And I mustn't forget those bright red berries. There it is. And I think that looks like brilliant place card for the Christmas dinner table. And you know, you can draw holly onto anything. It's best to draw green leaves and red berries, but if you've got something that's really strongly coloured, or it's already coloured green, and you want to do holly leaves on it, then try these gold and silver pens. And again, they give a really great Christmassy effect. Just drawing the holly leaf in the same way. And holly leaves don't need to be neat. Just draw these upside down and right side up ocean waves, couple of berries, and there you have it. And again, that gives a really good Christmassy effect. Now, have you ever seen these things? These are brilliant. These are glitter and glue pens, and it's just a case of squeezing the pen, and the glue and the glitter come out at exactly the same time. And it's absolutely perfect for creating really spiky holly. See that? Just squeezing it out at the same time. And when it dries, it gives it a really good glittery Christmassy effect. And what I've done here is I've threaded some ribbon through a piece of card, and I'm just going to create a Christmas gift tag. In fact, there are lots of different things you can do with holly. Look at this lot. I've created some gift wrap just by drawing holly onto some pieces of paper. I've cut out some thin card, thin green card, into holly shapes. And you can do your place cards. You could even decorate some crackers and make them look really Christmassy. Try it yourself and have a holly Christmas.